What's up guys? Welcome to another video of Solo Missions Outdoors. Today we are doing a little night fishing. I originally was going to make a video for Saturday but I went to four different places and the fishing was just terrible. I caught maybe five or six fish total but they were all maybe like seven inches and smaller. So today I'm going to try to redeem myself. I'm going to be fishing a local lake in Forest Lake. Let me give you a hint. The lake is clear. So we're just going to be fishing crappies. Pretty much all, all the crappies, um, they like to roam pretty much back and forth in like the, I don't know if it's really considered a basin because it's not really any structure and it. it's not like it's a small bowl, it's actually like, it's just like a deep area and it just gets shallower and shallower as you go towards shoreline. So I don't know if there's actually any real structure out there. We're just going to be fishing with plastics, um, waxy, spikes, and minnows. So I'll see you guys when we get to the lake. All right, guys, we're at the spot. Well, I'm just gonna pop a hole to see if there's any fish here. Just gonna check it real quick. This is where I was fishing last year. Don't see any fish yet, but I think we should be good. I'm just gonna set up in this spot right here. Don't wanna do too much moving, so. I'll see you guys when I have the tent set up. Alright guys, we are set up and I can already see some fish on the screen, so let's see. Probably gonna use a plastic first. Where's my right here? Use this guy. Not sure if I'm gonna catch anything because this is not a glow in the dark plastic, but we shall give it a shot and see if we can get anything. I'm marking, looks like there's two fish for sure. I am going to put minnow down there, but I'm just going to see if I can get these couple fish down here to bite first. Let's see. Not sure if that mark is coming up or not. We may have to switch to a um, glow in the dark tungsten. Alright, guys, so I'm tying on something else. This is just a tungsten teardrop jig with a par bait mayfly. I think that's what it's called. So seeing some fish down there so hopefully this is the secret weapon for today okay right there oh it's coming up fast it's gonna smoke it it's gonna smoke it there we go got it Let's see here this is a decent one to measure it. I'm probably going to keep, keep my limit today for fish just so I could get some fish to eat. This one, I don't know, I say it's an 8. Let's grab the measuring board to measure it. Oops. Ugh. Let's see. Mouth closed. Oh, that's actually a 9. Okay, that's a 9 inch crappie. So this is a perfect eater right here. Going home. Alright, guys. Let's drop back down. I can see two more fish down there. Or actually, it looks like there's might be three or four now. See the Vexlar. I know you probably won't see it that well, but it's marking three fish at the Vexlar. The fish are really showing up now. My plan is just to catch my limit and go home. So hopefully, I'm not out here too long. But I'm seeing a bunch of fish right now. There's lots of fish down there. not seem as interested as I thought they would be. One guy coming up. Let's see if I can get this guy to hit. Nope. It is not interested. It's going back down. Alright. I'm going to reel this reel. Oh, I'm gonna, no, let's dead stick this guy. I've caught 
crappies just sticking plastics here so we'll put that there grab my dead stick rod and throw a minnow on here and see if I could catch a few fish with some minnows put that right there Let's see I like using treble hooks just because the hookup ratio is way better. I think uh, two years ago I was using plain single hooks and I was losing a lot of fish. So I decided to start using a treble hook for death sticking and it has worked really really well. I think my hookup ratio is so much better than it was two years ago when I was using just single hooks. Let's see here. Try to figure out how deep I should go. I think that should be good right there. All right, we'll try right there and try to drop this guy back down and see if I can catch anything. All right, guys, I have my camera off, but caught one with a minnow. This one is about the same size, might be slightly smaller. Oh, let's see. All right guys, something took my minnow. Hopefully it's still on. Got him. All right, this is a nice one. This is probably a nine incher also right there perfect eater now i got three fish perfect eater right here these crappies are fat i know the gopro doesn't do any justice because it's set on super wide lens angle but this is a really nice nine incher I didn't think I was going to catch one using the spoon, but I had a spoon with nothing tipped on it and I caught one, so maybe the spoon might be the hot jig. Try one more time. Looks like there's something coming up from that minnow. Let's see if it takes it or not. Oop. Did it take it? Did it take it? Uh, I can't tell. Nope, I don't think so. Oop. Yep, it has it. Oh! Shaking my head, missed it. Missed it, missed it, missed it. Got him. Well, might be a tiny one. 
Uh, no, mine, this is a eater. That's all I got right there. It's been super slow, guys. I had to resort to hole hopping. It's cold as heck out here. I'm tired of that hole right there. See, it looks like there's some fish in here. It's coming. Got him. Perfect eater, guys. Let's see, now I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six crappies. I need four more. Four more, and I can go home. Fishing sucks today. This one's this one's a nine incher right here. There we go guys. It's a six fish. Ooh, got that guy's attention. Got him. There we go. Another nice nine incher. Right there. Got one. Ooh. Got another one right there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need three more. Three more fish to limit. Alright, guys. I think we're going to call it a night. Uh, it was really slow. I've been here for. I think like three hours and I barely caught my limit. I'm one fish short, which is okay. This is plenty for me to eat uh, today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna pack it up, I'm gonna go home. I don't know, man, I don't know about you guys, but fishing has been really slow this year. I feel like it's been really slow this year. Usually I'll be catching a lot of fish, but this year it's been really slow. I usually can limit out pretty easy, but I don't know, man, the fish just don't wanna bite this year. Thanks for watching guys, if you like my video, Go ahead and click that like button if you aren't subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button thanks for watching and i'll check you guys out next time